Hello and welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Josh Trank. Um, uh, acting very strange. Um, as basically, you read the title, he's been basically bullied off social media. Um, but also, like, it, it's a case of both people are in the wrong, I guess. Um, very clearly, actually. Um, and I also, it, it's, it, it's, it's just very sad. Because the situation clearly shows Josh Trank as someone that uh, has some kind of problem at the moment. I don't know. I mean, you know, we know that there's a lot of rumours uh, from Fantastic Four, how he was very difficult to work with. Uh, he almost punched uh, the lead or they almost got in a scrap. Um, his dogs wrecked like a multi-million you know, dollar house and all of this stuff. Very, very strange behaviour. He just started to work in the industry again, and now this. Um, you know, it's almost like he can't catch a break, but then also he's just doing very, very strange things. So we're going to dive into this today. And I mean really strange things, like threatening to beat people up. It's odd. Um, so we're going to dive into this today. I just want to say, guys, thank you all so much to everyone who has donated to uh, my film, Black Fields. It's a high-concept horror fantasy film. I'm making it writer, director, uh, and I'm crowdfunding for it. Now, if you donate $5 or more via the link in the description box, then you're in for a chance of winning a very, very cool nautical-inspired Norse spear, um, which will be signed and, and all of that by uh, me and the cast and all of that good stuff. So check it out if you want to support an original project. Now, Josh Trank, right? Good director. Like, he, he can actually direct a good movie, right? Um, he's not a bad director, but... It almost seems like he's one of these people that, like they say, genius uh, borders on like insanity, don't they? Uh, he's almost like that, and I'm not saying he's a genius, FYI, but you know, it's that kind of heightened sense of sort of you know creativity, I guess. Uh, he, he's just a, he's just basically he's a bit of a weirdo. Um, so what's happened is he, he's quit social media um, and he threatened a whole bunch of people. He just went on a really weird tirade. Comics Pride, how egotistical and pretentious can a director be? Answer, Josh Trank. And then Josh Trank, re Josh Trank replied, Ahem. Say it to my face, I'll knock you the fuck out. What are you doing, mate? You're, you're a Hollywood filmmaker. Like, I get it. Um, and this was something he posted on his own Instagram. With the caption, facts. It, like we're, we're basically seeing a man having a breakdown. Um, and it's very sad. So he obviously got this hate message. Uh, and he replied to it. And then he screenshotted it. And then posted it. And this isn't just the one. okay? Because remember, he's quit social media. Um, so then there's also this one. Um, Josh, can you reply to my comment? I'm a big Fant4 stick fan. Uh, my favourite part of the movie is when the credits start rolling. I mean, that is funny. It's quite funny. It's a good troll. Uh, to re and he responded with, Oh my god, you're so funny, smart, laugh my ass up, 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 up. Like, wow. Again, this is a man ha clearly having a breakdown. Very clearly. Uh, and then it get, again, just continues further and further. Um, again, question, Josh Trank. Maybe you wouldn't get so much hate if you could make a good film. Stop acting like a little baby and learn how to make a good film. I heard Martin Scorsese's masterclass on filmmaking is good. It depends on your definition of a good movie. By my estimation and others, I've made two. Question for you. Have you made a movie? Let me know. No, I haven't. But I don't need to in order to recognise trash. Um, I, I really hate that go-to response uh, from criti like from criticism that people have. Like, well, if you've not if you've not made it, shut up. It's like, look, you know, we can all tell what a good meal is, and yet we're not all chefs, right? Like, personal taste matters. Um, we we can all discern the difference. Uh, so, it, again, very odd behaviour from Mr. Trank here. Again, this is. Got to remember, in context, guys, this is this is a Hollywood director. This is someone that was given the keys to a Star Wars movie. Obviously, it was taken away from him. 
Uh, what the hell is going on? And then he went even further. It's just... To everyone right now DMing me, Capone sucks. Stephen King quoted my script in a tweet. Stephen King's not the be all and end all. He's really not. That's not someone that you want to say, hey, epic. He's the best. All the coolest critics and filmmakers co-signed. I'm still the youngest director to have a number one movie in the box office. Stephen King, you. Apparently, Black Lives Matter. It's got, got to get that in there as well. Accomplish something interesting with your lives. And then and then he was, that's it, he's done. He left social media. Uh, this is a Hollywood director, ladies and gents. He's having a nervous breakdown or a breakdown of some sort. Um, I just, words, I can't, you, it's, how do you put this into words? It's super odd. Uh, and then obviously like, other people were like, yeah, and boom, he's obviously gone because he, he was gone. Um, I was there. The people who made him uh, are my friends. If you want more screenshots, I can get them. Okay. Um, but this is the thing, like, it wasn't, I mean, look, he was bullied, obviously, but if you're posting, you know, replies like, well, I'll knock you the fuck out and all of this, like, really? Jesus. Uh, if I'm lucky to become a filmmaker when I'm older, I really effing hope I don't act like this because someone doesn't like my movie or me in general. Uh, having your shit constantly criticised for years unprovoked will do that to anyone. The lack of empathy is always surprising. So there's a few, th that's a bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it, really? Like, you know, you, I get, I get hate mail all the time, like all the time. There's always negative comments. There's always nasty things like that, and and they always, you know, negative comments always go towards, um, they verge on personal attacks rather than criticism of your actual product. So, like I get, I, you know, I get commentary about the way I look, and it's like, well, that's not relevant to the content I make. So you could say you dislike the content, but then bringing up someone's personal like appearance seems to be irrelevant. You know the intent behind someone's actions when they start to do things like that. Um, and this is, I guess, part of what happened with Josh Trank. But then also, he has presented himself doing these things uh, in a public, you know, in a public persona. So it's it's a bit of a double-edged sword with uh, Mr. Tranky. Um, but, I mean, it's a shame, isn't it? Like, he, he has actually been bullied off social media. But then posting replies like that, saying, well, you know, say it to my face, you know, I'll, I'll fuck you up and things like that. You are you are antagonising it. And I'm kind of renowned, oh, well, not renowned. I have um, done things like that in the past. So when I've been on live streams and people have jumped on, I've said, well, look, you wouldn't say it to my face. You know, all these kind of things. It, it is the go-to because people genuinely wouldn't say it to your face. Um, but I don't know. It's difficult because I'm trying to say stuff... I think we've all been in these situations and we all know in retrospect that doing those things doesn't help, basically. I'm trying to say stuff so I'm not a hypocrite because I've done some of these things. I think we all have and I think that's the point. Um, but we all know in retrospect that it's not good. We shouldn't do it. Um, and so he's gone. That's it. This is a, uh, a Hollywood director. Gone. Uh, he deactivated... Uh, just because a movie is bad, that doesn't mean people need to bully the director. Yep, um, I think we broke Josh Trank. Why are they harassing this man? Why kick someone when they're already down? Because fandom is notoriously self-righteous. Yeah, it's some good points, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. In these examples, I don't see anything wrong. It seems like everyone wants to be a dickhead towards him, and he's responding. Good for him. Yeah, like, again, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because you know, in hindsight, you shouldn't react to it in that manner. Because you're only feeding the trolls. Uh, the man who made one of the shittest films of the two, uh, 2010s thinks he's tough. Uh, thinks he's tough shit? Okay, okay. Um, I, I like Chron. It was Chronicle, wasn't it, that he made? I think it was called Chronicle. Um, I quite like that film. I got Oracle in my head from somewhere. You know what I mean. It, that, his like, debut short film that he... Well, not short film, but indie, indie movie that he made. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I had high hopes for him. Um, and I still haven't seen Capone yet, sadly. Uh, it wasn't hot on my agenda because all of this happened and then there was other things to cover and so on and so forth. Um, but I will watch it and see if it's as bad as people are saying because apparently people really, really hate it. But there you go, look. Josh Trank's done. Uh, but apparently this has been going on for years. So it's no surprise. Uh, it is a shame. Mr. Trank, my dude. 
you're never going to see this video. But if you do, I feel sorry for you. Um, if you if you want to talk about it, I guess you want to you know interview, let me know. Email is always in the description box. Uh, anyway, guys, I thought I'd bring you this on a Sunday. Cheers. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a like and a share. I'll be Mr. H. Take care.